You wrote an op-ed recently that I found fascinating. Lying prices keep America hooked on spending. What prices are lying prices, Professor? Well, essentially every price that's thrown up by the government uh, at the big macro picture, Rick, uh, we're, we're spending and, and we're not taxing in an amount equal to that. We're running a deficit in short, so that's a lying price. The, the taxes bill you get isn't paying the freight. And what the government does is borrow and, and push those costs off to future generations, our children and grandchildren. That's just one example. At the more micro level, you have all the streets and roads in most of the country aren't priced. They're, 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 they're a big cost, but no one pays the toll to go through them. And then you look at all the entitlement programs, Medicare, the, the sticker price is way below what the actual cost to the government is. So that's the lying price. You know, and Professor, I think all of our viewers intrinsically understand that. But how can we communicate what seems so logical? Listen, countries want their citizens to have good health care. They want them to live in nice houses, have good jobs, uh, go to college. Now, giving that to citizens does have a cost. Is it a cost we can pay? In other words, can we just raise taxes or would that hurt the economy? Is there a solution here? Well, the, the, yes, the big, the big solution for most of these things is to have what they call user prices in, in which you actually put a price tag on that reflects the cost of things. Politically, that's tough because the politicians like to buy votes and the way you buy a vote is give somebody something with a zero price and have somebody else pay for it. That, that's the name of the game. In other words, this lying price thing, Rick, is just to generate more and more votes for those politicians who can pony them up and pass them. Well, uh, Professor, we're almost out of time. I guess what I really want to get at here is, you know, we actually understand this process better than we think. Productivity lately has been very low. In your op-ed, you directly reference that if we give too much away without totally having a path to fund it and create deficits, it hurts productivity. Is that one of the things, in your opinion, that has affected productivity? That, that definitely has affected productivity. And, and the more of these things you give away and run through the public sector, you're, you're basically squeezing things out of the private sector, and the private sector is where the productivity is. It, it isn't in the public sector. The public sector is basically a drag on the economy and productivity.